Oh, uh, he can go first. You, sure. Okay, okay cool. Yeah, Thank John, you. I have a question. How old were you when the when that guy who you thought was trying to be your friend was really sexually coming on to you? How? Uh, and you're like, oh, I want a girlfriend. And that's that was your thought. You told me. I was right about 13, man. Okay, so it was around the same time you were talking to this girl. Right. So I like, wanted to have a girlfriend, and he wanted <laughs> to have. And he oh, wanted okay. to introduce me well, to sex with older men. Yeah? As long as it was they happened season. around the same time. It was the same girl, the same guy, at the same time. Yeah. Huh. Got it. All right. Um, I'll go with him, and then there's you two next. Okay. Um, you know, uh, we all have. Um, Bye, John. Bye. -bye. Uh, Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, you know, we all have like uh, crossroads in our lives that de deeply define who we are. Yeah. For example, for me, um, uh, choosing to go to Landmark was a crossroad in my life that I can't imagine where I would be if I didn't. Mm -hmm. what, what would you say is a major crossroad in your life that defines who you are now? Last year I went and I found out that uh, from uh, from my days at work that that something wasn't right going on, and I realized that I could either try and keep pushing what is going on, or I find an alternative. And so, basically, I was mentoring a kid on the spectrum that he was not reciprocating the messages that I was trying to relay to him. He was very depressed in his own life, and I felt like he needed to see professional help before he saw just another Aspie. Um, there was the students at school. I was trying to get them to do work and work, and trying to do the best work that they could do so that they would survive in the outside world. And everything was falling apart. At the start of this year, I decided, you know what? I'm going to be more mindful. I'm going to take a step back. Look, the goddamn. Okay, so there was something I was meant to bring to show you guys. If you guys follow me on Instagram, that's uh, tk underscore hubworld, you'll see uh, something that I've created called a bujo. And a bujo is a bullet journal. And so I've used that to record my emotions, what I've been uh, up to that day. I've been able to understand where I am going at in the world. How do you spell TK underscore what? Uh, TK underscore Hubworld, like uh, uh, Hubworld in uh, Spyro the Dragon or any video game. So H U B. Oh, I found you. I think. Yeah. Uh, that's my area. Yeah, <laughs> I've got more followers. Yay! <laughs> um, yeah. And so Follow I've. Back. And so oh, thank you. I will. I will. Jenna Pavichek. Uh, I, I didn't say. I'm the thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if I start vibrating, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, and so I realized that really worked for me. And so by tracking my emotions and by tracking how I was feeling, I was really able to uh, be mindful of the world that I'm living in today. Not only that, if you look at my profile and you'll see uh, an exclamation mark, that is because uh, starting next year, January next year, I am starting a new TV show or an uh, online TV show that you, my friend, are going to enjoy, but you're on your phone. Uh, yeah. Are you searching me up? Oh, no. Okay, that's cool. I am. That's cool. Uh, nice. <laughs> I'm starting a series called NPC Library. Now, NPC Library stands for Non-Playable Character Library. And in the world that we live in today, there's obviously people we can't be. We're just ourselves. Just like in a video game, there will be people you interact with. And so I'll be talking about what it means to have these types of people in the world of today. Who has played Spyro the Dragon? Alright, so I talked about this earlier. Now, you guys know characters like Moneybags and uh, Hunter. You know, <laughs> trouble with the trolley, eh? Uh, <laughs> so, what you do is, what I'll be going through is characters that relate to those two characters. For instance, Moneybag Moneybags is the type of friend that will only do things for you if you do something for them in return. Oh, I won't let you cross this bridge unless you pay me some money. You know, I won't help you out uh, carrying that stuff to the car unless I get a packet of chips or something. Friendships doesn't work like that. Friendships work on, you know, mutual interests and trust. And so that's why I'm building this up so that we as an Aspie community can understand more about the world we live in today. Yeah. 
awesome. Have you ever done a TED Talk? I tried I to see you yes. doing one of those. I tried to see you. I went to TEDx Sydney this year, one of the best days of 2018. Ooh, it won't awesome. beat this day. Though. Um, I went and I had a marvelous time ex uh, seeing all these different types of things, meeting very interesting people. And I tried to sign up next uh, for the one next year. But they said no, the, it didn't really work out. Um, I wanted to talk about neurodiversity and how, yeah. why that is the next most important thing that we should be focusing on. Keep signing up for that. Yeah. I you will. have the presence, I'm just saying. Yeah, you Jing do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you. Of course. <laughs> All right. I'm sure you'll get on there someday. Keep signing up. Uh, you. Just thank you very much. <laughs> the men in the back. Um, my, my question is more about, I, I like to travel. What, if, if someone wanted to go to Australia, Aus, Australia yeah. as a tourist, what would be like the quintessential like two or three places you would suggest go. All right, so that depends. What type of stuff would you be interested in seeing? I... <laughs> like, 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 what are your interests like? You said you like cars? Yeah, um, history, um, natural science. Okay, cool. We're good with just those three. So in Canberra, they got uh, a variety of museums that have to do with both history, art, if that's your thing, and uh, other types of interesting tidbits. When it comes to Bathurst, Bathurst has the uh, Bathurst 100, and that's a massive racing track. Uh, Sydney has some interesting historical sites, but that's more of a you know tourist location if you want to see Circular Quay and what have you. But all of this it requires money and travel costs. I live in the Blue Mountains, and so that has some interesting historical features as well. Or uh, some of the places are named after great historical people, Henry Lawson. Um, and the other ones. Uh, some, uh, John Wentworth. Uh, <laughs> Katoomba is a very touristy location because you see the three sisters. Like I said before, you guys have the seven sisters. We got the remaining three. Uh, it's our version of the lucky ten split. Uh, <laughs> and so we've gone, and um, that place is really good if you want to see some his, uh, more of historical uh, Australia. Oh, wait, no. Lithgow is really good for like some historical stuff too. So you've got some lists there. What about the botanical gardens? A lot of people like those. Now the botanical gardens in Sydney are marvelous, especially for you Pokemon fans out there. Because there's a variety of Pokestops. <laughs> the the botanical Pokemon. gardens are totally unlike anything an American has ever seen. Yeah. So there's no garden like that in America. Imagine a massive garden that takes place on the Sydney waterfront. So if you want to like, if you like me and you like to take constitutionals, that's a walk. Um, <laughs> go for a lovely stroll in the botanical gardens. Jenna's parents are really rich, and they've got actually a, uh, they've got a place that sees both the Sydney Harbour Bridge and the botanical gardens. And I'm like, oh yeah, well. Have you have you ever been to the to the hangman's gallery at the old Melbourne Jail? You know, I've only been to Melbourne twice, and it's been a marvelous trip. I need to go there next time. Also, Ma, uh, for those who like TV, uh, Melbourne's the place to go. Yeah. Right. Oh. Up the, yes. Was it a really long flight coming here? Boy, howdy was it. I got, it I left. It was hours. Bria got me to stay up most of the night, and then I realized that eventually you guys would be awake, so I went to sleep when you guys were apparently asleep. Um, and then I woke up at like 6 a.m., and we uh, drove, yeah, no, I woke up at 5 a.m. and we drove down in the early morning sun down to um, Sydney Airport. I got in the plane, I watched Incredibles 2, and I turned, uh, I turned around and it was dark again. I don't know what happened. Um, then I went and uh, I got to LAX. Who's a fan of the Muppets? All right, you know my, the my, movie? my tutor is, my, the, for, my former tutor is. In the original Muppet movie, there's a line that goes, I take it you know best. Is that from hey, Kermit I've the Frog? I've never seen the sun come up in the Is west. that Kermit the Frog? Oh, wait. Okay, one second. <laughs> I take it you know best. Oh, uh, somebody talk. No one to say. I'm getting out of here. Oh. <laughs> um, so, uh, I literally saw the sun come up in the west, technically, because I was on the west side of the uh, continent. Um, yeah. So it was a marvelous trip that took over to, uh, that took 23 hours. Oof. Someone up here had the question. Um, ah, you and then you. So um, really quick because I have to um, I have to go. Like, yeah.
You can feel free to add me on Facebook if you want to ask any more questions. Yeah, but, I'm just um, Thomas Kuzma. But no, uh, yes. sorry. Um, yeah, so, um, so about the relationships thing, so uh, I hardly ever wear makeup, so you said like, that wouldn't really affect anything. Uh, there's this, a variety of things that can happen. I mean, if makeup affects your skin and you don't feel good wearing it, then the person that you that would want to date you wouldn't want you to feel uncomfortable. Um, Bria was comfortable with the fact that I talk about my burps and my farts. Um, <laughs> but the thing is, I had to ease myself into that. You don't tell someone on the first date, oh look, I farted. Uh, so what you have to realize is that you're not going to meet the person that likes everything that you have. Right. But some things will obviously come into play. And there are some things that you too will obviously have. It's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you, if you are too much like someone else, your problems are going to be their problems and it's just going to be hectic. But if you have some things that are a bit opposite, Bria's... Uh, Bri is really good at editing, and I'm really good at writing, so we match each other in that sense. Cool. Yeah. Um, so you need to think of someone who you know that you'll be okay with, no matter whatever's going on. Okay. Yeah. And, yes? Thank you. you no worries, you have a good night. I, I, look to, forward. I just have to work, yes. I'm That's alright. Send me the friend request. Yeah. Will do. Do yes. you have RuneScape? Good night. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid I don't have RuneScape. But I did do a bit of um, World of Warcraft. <laughs> now, what I found interesting about World of Warcraft was that it had the potential to just be a good time waster whenever you're trying to do whatever. But I didn't like the repetitiveness of it. What I think is what makes a good game is that it tells a good story. That's why I like Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Daxter and new games like Spider Man and God of War. But um, everything needs time and money. Play the recent God of War? Um, yes, that's yeah, like that one. Uh, what I was I going to say... Yet. I haven't yet, actually, but I did play all the other ones. It's good. So what I'm going to say is... Uh, Spider-Man things... Darn it, I am almost lost words. Check out extra credits. That's what I was going to say. Uh, that and Game Maker's Toolkit, because they really talk about how those games work. And sometimes, what you can learn from video games... You can use in your day-to-day -day lives as well. That's how I figure it out. Yeah. Well, uh, I, actually, we're we're out of time. Ah, but but I, I I wanted to to really thank you, Thomas. Thank this, you. This, this was a oh, wonderful great. evening. Thank yeah. you. And thank you, John, for for, for bringing him. Yes. Uh, it, it, you're inspirational. You're charismatic. You're Thank you. everything that everyone you, know, you can you see. Everyone was. Really I'm extremely engaged. humble as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, re really appreciate and you being here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, also, you guys add me on Facebook. Uh, I'm always happy to talk about.